Welcome to Season. My name is Jason and here's my review of Con Man, completely spoiler free. This is a web series with really short episodes which I feel wouldn't benefit from me rating every individual one so I'm just not going to bother. Let's get started. Con Man is a web series created by Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion about a washed out, <laughs> washed out celebrity most famous for his role in a sci-fi cult TV show cancelled before its time. He attends conventions and his fans love him but he hates his fans and his life. Alright, straight up, is this worth paying the money to watch this on Vimeo? It costs more than a month of Netflix. If you're not familiar with comic cons or the show Firefly or not tuned into that geek culture, don't bother. It's not for you. Everyone else? Yeah, it's alright. It's a straight up love letter to Firefly fans, but is a story of fandom told from the celebrity's perspective. Clearly Tudyk has drawn a lot of this from experience and has some funny moments. The production for a web series is great! And Alan Tudyk, why is his last name Tudyk, is as always a great actor. And the cast and cameos in this show? Oh, oh boy. They've got a ridiculous amount of actors and actresses from geek culture like so many. It's pretty fantastic, but that's why this show won't be good to anyone not in tune with that culture. It's heavily reliant on geeky references. There's a lot of cringe humour, poop jokes, some of it just doesn't land. The best jokes spawn from references, fan interactions, and celebrities being exaggerated joke versions of themselves. It does a great job exploring Two Dick's character, but it's a character that's completely identical to Bojack Horseman. That review will be next week, I swear. Besides the whole horse thing, the alcoholic has been celebrity known for that one role and hasn't been able to shake it off with his biggest fans knowing him only for that one thing from years ago is that role. Not a complete negative, it's probably close to how Two Dick actually feels. Life imitating art, really. Probably more of a compliment to Bojack Horseman than anything else. Should you get it? Well, it's good. Though only like two and a half hours running time. The price point is too big, so only if you really, really want it and have money to burn. It's relative. But I'm a big fan of any projects doing things outside of the box, so supporting that is a reason you might want it. Oh, whatever. I'll probably end up on Netflix. C+. Plus. I liked it. Shortest review ever. And that's it. Thank you very so much for watching. If you like this video, then please subscribe to this channel to see more. Next week, I'll be reviewing Bojack Horseman. Finally. Seasons 1 and 2. Completely spoiler free, of course. But for now, I will see you later.